The scarring after implant exchange is typically hidden under the breast. However, again, each patient comes with a different story with regards to what scars were on the breast originally. If they have an implant, often there's incisions either in the axilla or armpit, around the nipple or areolar complex, or under the breast already. In the cancer situation, a mastectomy scar can also be on the breast. Therefore, we try to choose the appropriate uh, scar for each patient, uh, and we discuss that with each patient, trying to minimize the, the final outcome. Many patients come in with implants either above the muscle or below the muscle, and again, each patient is going to be specific uh, based on their evaluation. Uh, most implants uh, will be placed underneath the pectoralis muscle to provide a more natural contour. However, again, patients are, will be specific based on their uh, evaluation in the clinic. The recovery time for a typical implant exchange is usually less than the original operation. Uh, the tissues have already been slightly stretched, uh, and therefore a lot of the pain or discomfort from the recovery process uh, is actually already occurred and therefore the recovery time is about, an, about a week uh, with a nice fitting bra for support. Now the incisions still have to heal and the patients will uh, still have a couple weeks worth of um, lower activity level. However, the typical uh, recovery time is shorter than the original breast augmentation or the, certainly the mastectomy. At Park Meadows Cosmetic Surgery, we have a state licensed Joint Commission credited surgical center. We do all of our cosmetic surgery here and most of our breast reconstruction secondary cases here. Often patients will present to clinic with a change in breast shape that is unattractive to them or is just aged over time. The goal is dependent on each patient at, during the evaluation. If they have an unpleasant change in shape, the goal is to make that shape look nicer, look more feminine, and, and therefore often the goal is indeed to change the shape of the breast. If the breast looks nice, uh, but the implant itself needs to be exchanged either for saline or silicone, then the goal is try to maintain that already attractive breast shape. So each patient is very specific and then evaluation is important. Uh, but yes, the goal is to correct any breast abnormality that, is, that does exist. Often patients will want uh, more than one procedure performed and we try to evaluate what their desires are. Uh, if they're looking for a tummy tuck uh, and an implant exchange such as a mommy makeover, and the answer is yes, these, these, these um, operations can be combined. However, our goal is always to maintain a safe environment for the patient, and each patient's desires are going to be separately uh, understood, and we'll try to come up with a plan for them. For most cosmetic breast surgery, uh, this surgery is done typically by a plastic surgeon. When counseling a patient or a loved one uh, what surgeon they should seek, uh, I would recommend a board-certified plastic surgeon as that uh, cosmetic breast surgery is part and parcel of our training uh, and it's important for those patients to seek the most experienced surgeon in my opinion.